Hey you guys, I'm Fog here and welcome to the first FIFA 21 Major League Team of the Season Guarantee Pack. I don't know if you can really call the, the community team of the season like a Major League, but I tell you what, I had a feeling that, that like all the Major Leagues were going to require a team of the season to be submitted. And this is why you always do the Mini League Team of the Season packs, because with the 85 rates of card I've got here, uh, that, that from, from that uh, championship uh, EFL team of the season pack. Uh, I've been able to put it to good use in this one. I was thinking of maybe putting in Edward. He's the only other team of the season uh, community card that I do have. Uh, and I kind of thought of putting him in in the hope that I don't get him back. But I'm going to take the risk. And probably now after this, I probably will repack Edward. I will have to discard him. But uh, this basically means the Premier League will require um, either an 87 rated or an 88 rated with a team of the season or like an 86 with like two team of the seasons. That's what's going to happen. So, um, so yeah, but uh, thankfully I had all the stuff in the club. So I'm just going to sit there and turn it in. And uh, let's just hope to God we can get something good. So who's the best player to get? I'd say the top three best players to get are probably Alaba, Valverde and, uh, and Wan-Bissaka, aren't they? And, and who would be the worst? I suppose you probably have to put... I mean, I reviewed Edward and he was good. I think Moise Keane's the lowest rated at 87. And I think Goldson for Rangers is also 87. Was there any goalkeepers in there? Areola? I wouldn't... You know what? I wouldn't even mind an Areola from this pack. Um, because he'd fit perfectly into the team. Ashley Barnes is another top player as well. So hopefully we'll get some good. It'll obviously be a guarantee pack. Let me guys know who you were able to get. Do you think it's worth it? Hopefully, come on, give us something good for a change in the guarantee pack, please. I haven't had it, like nothing good since Cancelo. It's it Barnes. No, it's Goldson, isn't it? Oh, oh we got the worst one. And um, and the bad luck on this uh, this channel continues since my. Since my Cruyff last year and since my two team of the years, but uh, I thought I just had to kind of get in there, get that in there then. But um, I, I reviewed him and I liked him. To be fair, he still actually holds decent value. Jeez, he's nearly like a hundred thousand coins, which is actually pretty insane. Um, so, so in that respect, I wonder if I can fit him into my main team. I think I probably could, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of like getting like pack pulls on this channel last year, of course, getting that moments creep was insane from a free pack. Getting the two team leaders this year uh, was insane as well. But apart from that, I really have not had much luck on this account for for a while now. In terms of like a really really top pull, now I could. Is he better than Coman? I mean, he just is, isn't he? He he. Just, I mean, he lacks in passing, but he's just better apart from that. Ah, yeah, he doesn't. Cancelo gets full chem. I don't know if I like that setup. I'd probably rather just keep using Komen. Uh, and Goldson will go into my guaranteed team of the season for the Premier League pack, I think. That, that That's what I have to do. I suppose that's a good thing there. And that the Premier League one uh, that will guess, obviously, the following Wednesday will probably require an 87 or maybe even an 88 rated squad. So uh, it's a shame because he's actually a nice card, but he just simply doesn't fit into my team. I'm not going to sit there and move my whole team around just to fit in a Rangers uh, centre back. So so for now, he will be uh, on the bench, um, on the reserves. But uh, um, but obviously for the Premier League team of season, the main goal will be to get the Premier League team of season goalkeeper, whoever that will be. Uh, and then obviously to buy Thomas Susek there. And then basically uh, maybe a Hyung Min Son or something like that. And then that'll be my team complete. But uh, let me guys know who you were able to get in the pack. So just before we finish off, anything in objectives for today? Uh, of course, there should be a new team. Like Jao Pedro getting the team of the season moments cards, which is pretty insane. Anything in milestones? No, there isn't. Uh, so that's obviously pretty cool. I might try and play for that Jao Pedro card, and I might get a review out on him. What was in the team of the week as well, just before we finish off? And I'll also kind of back out and see if there's any news on the upcoming, uh, or what we think to be the upcoming Premier League team of the season this Friday. So Griezmann got a central base card. Oscar got himself a left uh, forward card with 82 base, which is just so horrible. Kim Pembe with another in form. Uh, Debravka picking up one there, which is really annoying. Um... Armstrong actually getting one from Blackburn, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, and uh, and Payet's going to get a horrible looking card. Evans getting one. Bravo in there as well. Yeah, it's a pretty dead team of the week. like. But um, but yeah, we'll just kind of quickly back out and see if they're giving us any kind of new loading screen. I, I doubt it. If we're going to get a loading screen, it's probably going to be tomorrow. But I'm looking forward to the Premier League team of the season. Hopefully that will be the, uh, the upcoming one. Uh, if they're going to go off the same system as last year. Uh, I'm sure one of my viewers got something absolutely insane in their team of the season packs. And... Uh, I think Goldson, uh, I'd, listen, all the all the players that you can get from that guarantee pack are good. They're all usable cards. I'm not having anyone, I don't care, I don't want people saying that they're not, I mean, here, here they are right now. 
So who would be the worst in that one? Zelinsky probably isn't a great one, in my opinion. Um, listen, I, I, I say, you know, Zelinsky's one of the worst ones that, in my personal opinion, yeah, he's still, you know, decent. But, um, but yeah, in terms of rating, yeah, at least it wasn't a duplicate Edward, I suppose. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.